It's relationships between people that create stronger communities. Though these often occur naturally to some extent, there are things that your groups can do to help them to grow. This presentation explains how to think about these relationships so your organisation is better equipped to strengthen them for the benefit of your community. The strongest communities are able to provide support to all kinds of people. This includes those living in particular neighbourhoods or in communities of identity like Afghan refugees living in Glasgow or refugee women in Scotland. Though the scale may be different, the principles of developing relationships are the same. Groups working on this type of activity will often run services which help ensure people come together and are connected to each other and try to build links with and meaningful contact with those who make decisions about policy and services. Communities who achieve these connections are often known as having social capital. It sounds like a complex idea, but it's not that difficult and I'll explain it here. You can think about it in terms of people building social bonds with each other, social bridges with other groups in society and social links with those who make decisions. Creating social bonds is about building stronger, supportive relationships amongst those who share experiences, for example, of the asylum system or in a wider community, such as refugees from a particular country. By helping them to support each other in order to make life better for the community as a whole and connecting them through shared social and recreational experiences and by trying to share the lived experience of communities with others who may be in a position to help. This is to help educate people about refugees and asylum seekers. Successful communities also need connections between those who may not share common bonds. We call these social bridges. This involves bringing asylum seekers and refugees together with others who may have always lived in these communities in order to combat myths and build understanding of the refugee experience and to explore what people may have in common and share things like food, music and other things which can bring different cultures together. Bridge building involves uniting around the common issues that people in communities may face, whether you're a new Scot or a Scot who's lived in a community for their whole life. This can include issues of housing, health and other things. It's also about sharing the life experiences you may have as parents, as children or as neighbours. This increases social solidarity and makes it harder for others to divide communities. Social links between communities and decision makers can Remind politicians and service providers of their legal and moral duty to help those claiming asylum. Help communicate your needs and how your community feels that they should be met. And to inform services whether they are working or not for your community. And what policies must deliver for refugees in the communities where they settle in a just and modern Scotland. It matters to try and build all of these connections and communities because building links with each other and your allies makes your community stronger. Building bridges with others in communities widens support for refugees. Making links with those who plan services will improve those services your community needs most. Influencing the policies that affect public attitudes and the way services are delivered will affect how we all live our lives. Being able to explain how you do this can help you get funding for work that creates a better environment for refugees to settle in and rebuild their lives.